guys. So we're here today, so I'm not gonna lie, it's a big day. I just bought, I guess you could call it one of my dream cars, but it's definitely a car that I've been wanting for a long time. And it's gonna be a new little addition to the Wine and Adventure fleet, I guess you'd say. So I'm excited to show you all, but first I wanna do a little bit of flashback of me actually going and picking the car up, going and checking it out. And then we've got a few reactions of, of uh, me showing some of my homies. So it's a pretty cool, it's unique, old, cool, um, and I'm excited to show you guys. It's gonna be a bit of a different build um, than just your regular budget build. So we've got some cool things. So let's do a quick little flashback and let's see us uh, pull the car up. Flashback. All right guys, so we're on the way to buy the new car. You guys don't know what it is yet, but I want to ask dad, do you like the car that I'm buying? I like the car that you're buying. I don't mind it whatsoever. Are you excited for some of the projects that we have coming up on the car? Yep, yeah, definitely got some good projects with this car. Yeah. I like it, it's gonna go for a long time. It's a little different to what the RAV is. It's a similar build in the same era of vehicle, but it's a lot what would you say? It's just different. It's a RAV on, it, rev on steroids. A RAV on steroids, you can go with that one. <laughs> Do you think it's pretty, Dad? I don't know if any of that stuff will buff out of it, though. And it, 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 it's definitely not a buffer. Buffer. It's not the. It's not the prettiest, but it, it's it's perfect. It's got the right owner if it's not the prettiest. That's for sure. <laughs> there's a little bit. There's a little bit of marks on it. Oh, I'm very excited. Yeah. Come anyway, on, let's go. It's got muddies on the back too. It's got two spare muddies. Come right, on. Man, so we just picked up the new car. I'm fucking stoked. So I'm driving. Driving for about 10, 15 minutes now. Man, I love it. It's so good. It drives good. It's uncomfortable as shit. It's old, and I fucking love it. So I'm stoked. Very, very excited. So I've got another fucking half an hour drive home now. So I'm gonna fucking book it home. So give it a little tip. Woohoo! Let's go. This. How good is it, though? And it's clean. And you wanna see the best bit? Down there. Why? How good is it? <laughs> Fuck, that makes it easy to work on. <laughs> Hearing is so low. I know. Like, that's what I mean. First gear is not a, it doesn't exist. No, second. It's so nice. It's so good, isn't it? It's fucking clean. <laughs> honestly, it what? honestly suits someone that works at a slaughterhouse. Fuck off. Like, 100%. <laughs> yeah. It does, bro. <laughs> Like, what do you transport in there? Like, <laughs> transport in there dead cows, bro? Nah, no, it looks fucking uh, mint, though. How good is it? It looks fucking mint, bro. Congratulations. That's thank fucking you, sick. Hold you. up, let me shake your hand, bro. First thing in the back of the tray. No, uh, Congratulations. Fuck yeah, bro. This looks good, doesn't it? It looks good. Like proper bro, old school. That looks so good. This yeah. is like something you want to get. You and this, to this get. Is what I've wanted this for a long time. You guys see the cool part about it, though? I do. <laughs> that is sick, bro. Oh, my KFC. I've only seen like a few units with something like that. And I've always been jealous. I'm like, bro, how much does it really cost to get something in there? Well, it's 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 a sale if you want it. I'm selling, I'm selling, I'm selling the TV. As you can see from the actions, something unique about it. And I'll let, I'll show you what it is unique in a second. But let's have a look at the car first. Have a look, guys. Guys, the 175 series. dream cars when I was first looking to buy four wheel drive. I'm stoked about it. I got it for cheap as it needs a little bit of work here and there, but overall it's great. So it's a six cylinder diesel, um, non-turbo. So it's got the 1.8 Zeta motor, I believe it is. Um, 400,000 Ks on it. It's just a little weapon. It's been a farm truck. It's got a little bit of rust here and there, which we'll show you a bit later. But um, overall, it's clean as. It's a bit dirty at the moment. It was clean when I got it, but it's a good it's a good truck um so we'll just have a quick look around basically bar work all around we might have to end up replacing it or respraying i'm not too sure yet there is a bit of rust on it but that's something we can look at later um 31 inch muddies um a bit small for what i like but um again we're, we're kind of going to change it throughout so we're not going to do a budget options we're going to do that mid-range kind of stuff on this one um leaf springs all around they all need to be changed. Um, the suspension is actually currently a towing spec. That's what all my did. A lot of towing, a lot of hauling. So got to get rid of that, change that over. But overall, it's all right for at the moment. Um, classic two-door, nice side steps. 
it's just a clean car. Alloy tray and everything like that. Um, we'll come up and look at the inside. Proper granddad spec, nothing changed in here. Just overall, just a nice clean view. Really, there's nothing, nothing too crazy on the inside here. There is one thing that's very special about this car that I'd like to think that not a lot of Land Cruisers or any other kind of car around has at the moment. So I'm just gonna the cameraman just to step back here and just focus on the tray for a second. And we're gonna show you why this is something special, unique, different. Oh, I broke it. Look at that. How cool is this? Right? So obviously I have no use for this. But it's just kind of cool to have. But um, it was an old, old tipper tray. He's done the whole transform of it. Um, he used to haul around a lot of I think gardening equipment or something like that. I'm not too sure. But I think it's just cool, personally. Come have a look on the inside. Like you can see here, like the actual chassis itself has all been protected. No rust on the chassis. A little bit of rust on the actual frame itself of the trailer, but the chassis itself has been taken care of. So easy to change any suspension parts and just maintenance. So. It is cool, I do like it. Am I gonna keep it? Probably not, but I have a few ideas of what I wanna do first. So, it's just something special and cool, like something unique. You didn't expect that, did you? You didn't know that. Yeah, so cameraman's got surprised too, he's got a big smile on his face. But no, so, it's gonna be a good build. Um, idea of it is, just building a nice Land Cruiser. I've got some different tray ideas I wanna run through. Um, I do like being different, as you guys know, from the, the, the RAVs and everything like that. So um, it's going to be different, it's not just going to be put a tray on it and off you go with a canopy, it's going to be different. Um, we're definitely going to raise it up, get some beefier tyres. It's going to be a little bit of a four drive, long term tour I guess you could say. Um, and the RAV's a good weekend away kind of car. But it is funny though because now the RAV is my daily driver after I've done all these things to it. So it's just funny, it's good. Yeah guys, so look forward to seeing this on the channel. Um, it's going to be coming it's not going to come yet we're going to still have a little bit of do on the rav um i don't know when this video is going to be released but um we are going to be putting this um kind of on the front foot coming into the new year so hopefully bring the rav to the end of it end of the year uh, finish up some of that and then hopefully bring this in full swing next year like i said going to be a bit more money involved but i don't know i'm stoked there's a lot of there's a lot that needs to be done first but i'm excited so Thanks for watching guys. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, let me know in the comments below any ideas or anything you want done to this car. And um, see you again next week. Woo!